Hello, my name is Doug Digital and we are currently in the midst of the Hello Bonsai dashboard. Now for those of you that don't know, Hello Bonsai is this sort of all-in-one package for freelancers, small business owners that allows you to onboard clients, send proposals, create projects, create invoices, create contracts and manage all of that in one easy to use and very digestible place. And so the purpose of this video today is going to be one of several in which I dive into an aspect or an, a key element of the Hello Bonsai platform so that you can be hyper focused on getting results from the platform and getting the value that you need. So in this video today, we're going to focus on projects, which you'll see on the left hand side, that third entry. Now, a project is essentially a cluster of proposals, of contracts, of invoices, all nested underneath a, a client. So you can have one client, multiple projects, and within those projects, you'll have multiple key aspects of a project. Now, when you first log in to Hello Bonsai, you'll see a nice little um, project timeline at the top. And this gives you a really simple view of some of the key events that are happening. So I've got three projects at the top here, Digital Dojo Rebranding, Digital Dojo VA Work, and Digital Dojo Wedding Photo Shoot. So a couple of projects depending on your use case. And you'll see if I hover over them, I sent a proposal, uh, sorry, drafted a proposal today for that project. I drafted um, another proposal and also um, I sent out a contract which I myself signed. So I would see that progression of the projects um, in that simple timeline. But let's go over first of all to the projects dashboard. Here, very, very simple, very easy to filter, very clean. So what you'll be greeted with first is your list of all your projects. And you will see if you hover over the little tab there that the gray indicates the project is active and you'll have different colors depending on the status whether it's um, active or completed so if these are the title i'll see the the client so in this case it is it is myself <laughs> the digital dojo and then i'll see the start date and if i want to amend that i'll click on that and i uh, you know what i think that this one should be pushed back a little bit to do that and then we'll see how much monies um, are due for that project, if at all. And then I will also see how much is paid. Now this can be managed automatically by integrating your bank account, or you can simply flag a payment as paid and then it will update respectively in here. And then if I click on the drop down arrow, I can view the project, mark completed, archive it, delete. And what's really cool is I can click filters and then I can filter by the status of the projects and also by a client as well. So if you had multiple clients, you could filter by the, the projects for that particular client. So really good if let's say you want to refer back to previous work that you've done or you want to use a previous project as a template, you can, you can do that by doing a quick search. So for the purpose of today, what I've done for you is I've created three examples based on really popular, really common freelance roles. So we've got a graphic designer there who's got a rebranding project. We've got a wedding photo shoot. We've got some virtual assistant work. Oh, I've got some noise outside. Um, yeah, so we've got virtual assistant work. So really common freelancer roles. Uh, perhaps as well, you might be, let's say, um, a social media manager, an SEO manager, a digital marketer. That could all be featured here as well. So let's hop in to Digital Dojo rebranding. So. First thing you're going to think is it's very clean, but there's a lot to take in here. And let's break it down. So starting on the top bar, you have your project title, you have your client name, you have here edit automation. So this is really powerful. We're gonna talk about this in another video. But edit automations are a great way of automating certain features. So a great example, I'm not gonna dwell on this too much, is I have an automation where as soon as I mark a project as complete, I'll trigger a email to be sent to the client with a little form, like a, a thank you form, where I say, please let me know how you found it. And then they've got six questions that they go through, doo -doo -doo, and it gives me feedback on how I, how I handled that project. And then over on the right hand side, I see my, my name there. You can invite people to come and collaborate on this project, or perhaps you have contractors and you would like to give them access to this so you can manage resources and tasks. So there you can view as collaborator or view as client as well. So you can see what the client will see when they view this um, interface. And that's a really cool part of this as well. So rather than managing like email exchanges, you can just host all of your project assets, collateral updates here. 
and they can come in they've got everything they need really powerful and then thirdly or thirdly finally on the top bar you've got your project status so if you want to quickly mark it as complete done there super simple so we then have one two three four five aspects of your project and this is this is applicable to any and every project so you're going to get a consistent interface which is really cool we're going to start with the overview so the overview is the summary of all the constituent parts so starting from the left you have active tasks now let's read what they describe this as manage project tasks only visible to your company and project collaborators very handy so it just lets you keep tabs on what is what you're currently working on so you can see here that i've added a task already uh this is actually to myself and uh, this is due 6th and I'm going to add three hours to this at an hourly rate of 100. There we go. Okay, now apologies if I'm jumping around. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, to message, uh, add a comment. But um, what we can do here is we can add our tasks and we can very quickly add a sort of uh, chronology to them so we know what tasks are happening and when. Now, I personally wouldn't use this for task management. I would use something like Notion or Todoist or something. But for clarity for your projects and, and certainly for ease of replication, this can be quite handy. And just to show you how easy it is to create a task, I click plus. I'll say, this is a t I love the, the preview text there. I love you. <laughs> um, I've typed it so many times. So I've added, added a task. Great. Very simple. And then as I move over to the right, I can see invoices. I can see how many are outstanding, overdue, paid and pending. Now, what's great about Hello Bonsai is that some of these can be automatically sent. So in the example proposal and contracts, we can add a little trigger that says once they've signed the contract, we will automatically send out an invoice. And then that will show up now outstanding invoices. And we can also click on the plus and like with anything we can create it then and there so i want to create a single invoice or recurring invoice or subscription invoice perhaps you have a rolling retainer so you could create a subscription invoice there very very simple again invoices are a big part of this and we're going to tackle them in another video but today let's look at the projects next on the right hand side documents so this is where it's going to nest all of those key components to your project so i've actually created two examples here uh, i've got a generic uh, proposal here which says proposal title and then i've got graphic design proposal and again i can click a plus and i can add them really quickly just like that and what's great is that you'll see when we go through the proposals and contracts is that they have a really hello bonsai has a really made package of resources that you can use so if you're a graphic designer a social media manager a seo person a photographer a videographer they'll have designated templates that you can quickly click and then send out to your clients so i've got a couple there uh, let's click on this graphic design proposal here based on this project um so we go down and then we've got one already made i haven't edited this in any way um but it's got this here i've got design consultation i can just copy in i can amend any of this if i want to i will automatically amend the costings as well um this is a test one it's 100 for the rate and it, and it automatically updates it and again the great thing about hello bonsai is this is all customizable so if you want to you can um completely check oh gosh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You could, you could change the colours to something beautiful. And then let's look at that. Let's preview that. Let's preview it. And there we go. So I've got my proposal. And this is all nested within one project. So let's say you have different contracts going on. You've got... Um, let's just hop back to the projects. Let's say that you have one project that constitutes multiple um, proposals you've got a proposal for the seo work you've got a proposal for the design work the copy it can all nest within one place and then files and messages so let's say that you have 
um, assets or collateral for a particular project, you can create them and then add them in here. So really, really simple. So I'm going to um, click on the icon there. And I'm going to add in. Um, oh, I'm going to add in my head, my logo. So I'll add that, and then that will appear in our files and messages. There we are, and I'll give it a little note. This is truly beautiful. B E A U T F. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't spell beautiful today. Can you tell that my experience was as a journalist and copywriter? <laughs> um, so, what there? Uh, I've also then got on the right hand side time tracking. So, you can get a plugin or um, for your browser, or you can get a little extension for, for your device. You can just maybe just make it out of screen, but I've got a little time tracker at the top there, which is um, um, an app that you can get for your Mac or Windows or what have you. And then you can just start a timer so you can log your hours. So rather than, let's say, logging it in a proposal, you can just say, oh, you need me to do something. I'll, um, I'll just set a timer and I'll say this is for the rebranding project. And my rate is $100 an hour and I'm working on the video. I'm just going to leave that to run. And you'll also note in the tab here, you've got the little timer as well, which is great. So we've also got um, some unbilled hours there, three three hours. So if you wanted to add some, um, assign those to the next invoice, you can very easily do that. And again, we'll cover that in our invoice. But what you can do is when you get unbilled hours, you can add them with a little click of the mouse to your next invoice. And then also expenses. So let's say that you accrued um, a charge as part of the project, or let's say in this case, travel expenses, and the category is going to be um, their flights, taxi and transportation, and it was 150 and the date was yesterday. Uh, and I'll add a little note there to get to London. And I'll add a receipt if I wanted to create expense. And I'll have that coming up any minute now as a new unbuilt expense. So really simple so far. And then we've also got activity as well. So you can see that I created the project today. I created a new proposal. I created another new proposal and I sent it to myself. And then I can also very quickly view the email that was sent. So I'll click on that. I'll wait for that. The Doug Digital will send you a proposal to review. I'm truly excited to be working with you and look forward to your response. Please email me at doug at dougdigital.co.uk with any questions. All the best, Doug Saddams. And I can click view a proposal. And this is sort of replicating what the client will see. And then they will then see that um, that proposal that we had sent earlier or that we briefly viewed. I'll see the generic one. So yeah, um, we'll, see, we'll see the proposal there. And I can uh, set a reminder. But anyway, we're going to cover that in proposals. So let's hop back. Let's close that. So we've looked at the overview of the project. We've gone through some of the key components. Very simple. Anytime you see a plus, you can add an element to that. You can choose from a template. It's very simple. Let's go over now to invoices. And again, this is all nested within a project. So no invoices for this project yet, understandably. Now I won't be able to add an invoice just for the purpose of this video um, because I'm using this. I have my real bank details on there, so I don't want to uh, open and, and share the share the details accidentally. But the crux of the matter is it operates in exactly the same fashion as with a proposal or a contract. Click a button, creates it, and then it would all be logged dynamically in here so you will see that it's outstanding it's overdue it's pending it's paid and you can manage that all within your invoices and then we go over to time tracking and this is where we've been logging some time at the moment so let's very briefly switch off our time tracking and we can see how the video the video so that's still ongoing so let's pause that and I'll see that in my log there. I spent three minutes and 33 minutes on the video. And I'll just 
refresh this and then let's see um, let's see how it's updated again this is really really powerful really simple to use and certainly from my perspective as someone that, that always struggles to manage all the components it just makes it so much simpler so time tracking is loading and there we go we can see exactly how much I'd spent uh, how much time I'd spent we can see the build hours and then I can edit that entry as well let's say I actually spent a bit more but I forgot to turn the timer on let's just edit that and say actually I spent a bit more time than that I actually spent 90 minutes and 33 seconds or update hours there there we are, so that's updated accordingly, 450 pounds and 90 pence. And then what I can do is simply invoice for those hours, and then I can create an invoice. Yeah, let's say uh, round to the next hour, and that's good. And then I would create that invoice, and then that will be sent out to the client. Very simple. Collaborators is another great part of our projects, and so collaborators essentially are limited users that can hop into your project and can can do very very light activity to it so as you can see there invite collaborators for free for free to your projects with limited access um, I personally haven't used collaborators so I couldn't advise you on this but you can definitely imagine that if let's say you are working with a contractor you could use that to uh, to, intro to introduce them to the project and have very light um, involvement there. As I say, I apologies, I apologize, I can't give you a full walkthrough on that. So let's then go over to the settings. And then here we are, we've got general bits and pieces about the project. What's the title? What is the payment type? So I put hourly rate of 100 pounds. And then what's the description? Let's say um, delivery of a new brand for the digital dojo and that is due say on the 8th of August and the save changes so that's saved and we've pretty much got the essentials of projects now so it's very very simple very very powerful very easy and we're only scratching the surface as I say the the projects are the nest the hub that contains all the other bits and pieces everything joins together you get your proposals you get your contracts you get ah forms as well how can i forget forms yeah forms are an excellent way to get feedback to get maybe an, a little client onboarding before they get started forms are really really powerful and again we're going to go through this all in detail and if you have any things that you want to look at specifically let me know in the comments below and we'll do it we'll go through and we'll uh, see what you think cool well i hope you've enjoyed this this is the first of uh potentially several videos and let me know if you have any comments below i've been doug digital and ta -ra.